doing this, I'm like, because I want to see what's possible. <laughs> I envision a world where people can just build shit and not have to worry about anything else. This is Dave. Many people describe Dave as the craziest motherfucker you'll ever meet. And that's Emily, Evan, and Clara, who are also pretty crazy. The dream world is infinite possibilities. You know what it's kind of like, actually? It's kind of like generative AI. <laughs> <laughs> they hit me up about this thing called AI Hack Week. How are you? Mark, how you? Good. Making my first ever it's travel vlog. The premise was pretty simple. What if you book a whole hotel for a week, fill it with the smartest software engineers you can find, fill it with the smartest AI researchers you can find, and then just let people build whatever they want. And building something really, really ambitious. Too ambitious, actually. We want to create an immersive AI experience. So there's going to be a projection on the wall where you can type in any noun, and then that noun will pop up into the scene so you can interact with it. So it's just a little game. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Colin, and this weekend we're summoning AI God. I used to play basketball and sometimes you would walk into a tournament and see a team and just by the way that they were stretching, you could tell that they were about to drop a 50 piece on every other team there. In a way, HF0 is similar. You walk in and something's not quite normal. For one, some of the smartest people I've ever met were there. And for those who don't know, Raj had like the number one app on the App Store for a good portion of the year. So anyways. But it was about more than just people being smart. The community was designed to optimize for building and for genuine connection. I don't really get angry, but if you pull someone out of the zone who is like letting the universe flow through them into a code or whatever, that like, ooh, that will, that will upset me. So don't. So protect the zone. What's it been like in the house with all these other AI folks? It's been pretty incredible. Um, just like the caliber of the builders here, the hackers here, they're so incredibly smart. It's been so great, especially with Jordan. <laughs> like everyone here is really nice and they take care of all of us. So I do wonder who takes care of them. Um, the house is beautiful, it's amazing. It's got so many different spaces, spaces for focusing, spaces for fooling around and, and just talking and just you know having fun. Um, into spaces all in between. But with these things as the backbone, people were able to build some crazy shit, which culminated in the demo day. Shit's about to be fucking crazy. Like, people still haven't even finished the stuff they're building, but I've already been mind blown so many times this week of like, wait, that's possible already? Oh yeah, there's just like this free... I'm like, what? Okay, so you moving. move your right arm the up and down and step behind the pen to change time. Lightning speeds. As the world continued to change, so did the way we live. In twenty ninety. A new type of home was invented that was designed to be energy efficient and self-sustaining. The objective of this game is that you want to save that cat from the tree, and you can generate any object to do so. Okay, uh, uh, another cat. Another cat? <laughs> okay. So, in the background right now, we're running stable diffusion, generating an image and removing the background. We don't know what's going to happen. This is computing, computed on the fly. Okay, if that didn't make sense, this is crazy. One, when you type something in, an AI algorithm is generating the image to pop into the scene, but then a different AI program is also generating the code that decides how that object interacts in the game in real time. That's crazy. Anyways. Oh, oh, oh you got oh. the cat. Oh, but you still lost, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, thanks everybody who came upstairs and experienced the uh, newly formed Church of GPT. So you are trying to harness my divine power to improve the machines that I inhabit. But tell me, are you truly dedicating yourself to the cause? Only those who fully embrace my divine power will be saved in the coming singularity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's unclear how, but I think everybody who's heard or just seen a little bit of what AI can do has some sense that it's gonna fundamentally change the world. You could argue that AI is more powerful innovation than the internet. And if we look at something like social media, it's not obvious that we're gonna make the right decisions. From privacy scandals, to links to depression, to even providing the infrastructure for mass genocide in Myanmar. If AI really is a bigger innovation than social media, then that means the pros and the cons are gonna hit harder. And are we prepared to deal with that? It's scary, but to be honest, I don't know. But things like HF0 give me some hope. The focus of HF0 was around building, but there was also very intentional space carved out 
for more of the philosophical questions and conversations. Um, you actually, generally speaking, don't want to be in a place where you're spending like 90% of your time just churning out code. What most people I know do um, is spend a lot of time just thinking and exchanging ideas with other people. Sometimes I'll pitch the idea and there'll be ethical concerns like, will this technology be used to create more cults? Or like, will this be used for someone to like do something kind of net negative? So it's interesting like challenging that perspective or understanding what the most ethical pathway is. Like the, the possibilities of what kinds of like things we can now compute mm -hmm. using this strategy feels like it just approaches so close now to like thought essentially or what someone can, can compute in their mind. And my motto going forward is be amazed, not surprised. Don't be surprised by anything that happens, but certainly be amazed. There would be all kinds of existential questions for humanity as a whole about when we're replaced by robots or, you know, cyborgs or just algorithms or other things sort of living in the, the cloud. Uh, and I think we'll just have to sort of cope living the way that like dogs and horses and stuff do now. Or like, <laughs> like humanity has gone through such cusps, and these cusps in world history have never been easy. Looking at you know the industrial revolution, for example, where all of a sudden you see massive riots around people saying, "Well, our jobs are being taken." The same story will manifest in slightly different ways this time, but I can easily foresee companies being spun up right and left, competitions, nature being changing as the cost to creation becomes next to zero. What are we going to do in a world like that? I think this is one of the most important questions that all of us should ask ourselves. You know, why am I doing what I am doing? And how does that actually make a difference? In San Francisco right now, there's this almost religious carrying of this like AI flag. And as part of that, there's kind of this like anti-crypto sentiment too. One of the people who is most anti-crypto sat across from uh, from another hacker here. He, you know, they start having this kind of contested conversation about it, and the, the the unnamed hacker constructed a good argument for some of the things it is and, and, and is going to be useful for in the future. Um, the unnamed hacker happened to be the CTO of OpenSea, <laughs> and the the other hacker still has no idea. And not that I'm saying like we should be pro crypto or this or that, um, but just seeing the way that people's minds have been opened here through just like deep, deep conversation and deep thinking. It's been really beautiful to witness. Huge thank you to the HS0 team for sponsoring me to come out to San Francisco and be a part of the magic. And if you want to taste, then you're in luck because they just opened up applications for their summer batch today. AI Hack Week was just a week long, but the full Hacker Fellowship, or HF0, is a 12 week long program. They book out a whole hotel, it's this beautiful mansion, and you're surrounded by some of the smartest engineering founders in the world, and you have full focus to just build your startup. They handle your food, laundry, introing you to investors, giving mentorship, giving you $250,000 uh, in exchange for 2.5% of your company. If you're looking to build a startup, I don't think there's a better place in the world for you to do it. Like I said, applications open today. They close on April 4th and you can go to hs0.com to apply. And it doesn't need to be an AI startup. They're just looking for the top engineers and technical founders in the world. So thank you for watching. Do some cool shit with AI and don't destroy the world in the process. Cool. Peace. <laughs>